Panicky gamers who sprint from save point to save point may be able to beat the original Silent Hill, but they'll miss out on all the little details the game has to offer. Besides creepy touches like rusty wheelchairs and bloody basketball backboards, the developers at Konami Computer Entertainment Tokyo crammed heaps of literary, movie and music references, spoofs on commercial brands, and general weirdness throughout the game. Let's take a look at some of them. Dahlia Gillespie's house, seen briefly in the opening cinematic of the game, was inspired by Andrew Wyeth's 1948 painting titled Christina's World. The house in the painting was in turn based on a real building in the state of Maine called Olson House. The events of Silent Hill also take place in Maine. Café 522, where protagonist Harry Mason meets police officer Sybil Bennett, is named after the café from the film Natural Born Killers. A wall inside Café 522 has a poster of a man holding a shotgun with the words Study, damn it! The same poster was published in the main campus student newspaper in 1970, while writer Stephen King was studying at the University of Maine. The pinball machine in Café 522 is modeled after Williams Electronics' Medieval Madness. A great table, by the way. As you eat at Café 522, you can stare at a picture of the Virgin Mary shedding bloody tears. Check, please! The following message appears the first time Harry saves his progress. Someday, someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully, they will find my notes useful. It is very similar to a line from Stephen King's novel, The Mist, which reads, There is a restaurant here, a typical Hojo restaurant with a dining room and a long, horseshoe-shaped lunch counter. I am going to leave these pages on the counter and perhaps someday someone will find them and read them. Scattered through Silent Hill, you can see posters of the British band Portishead. Composer Akira Yamaoka is clearly a big fan of theirs. Listen to the Portishead song Sour Times and tell me which Silent Hill track it reminds you of. To gain access to the western side of Silent Hill, Harry must collect three keys labeled Lion, Woodman, and Scarecrow. This is a reference to the Cowardly Lion, Tin Man, and Scarecrow from L. Frank Baum's The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Like Harry, Dorothy accidentally travels to another world full of bizarre creatures. Midwich Elementary School is modeled after the school from Arnold Schwarzenegger's Kindergarten Cup. Seriously, many of the posters decorating the walls inside the school are ripped straight from the film as well. The list of school teachers at Midwich Elementary School includes Moore, Ronaldo, and Gordon. These happen to be the names of Sonic Youth members Thurston Moore, Lee Ronaldo, and Kim Gordon. A poster that reads, A woman came down from planet Vulcan, could be a reference to Star Trek's Spock, who comes from a planet named Vulcan. Another poster says, The Martians have arrived, and they certainly have. The game even has a secret ending where aliens abduct Harry. The truth is out there. Moshnik's Florist is the name of the store from the film The Little Shop of Horrors. It's hard to read, but the sign on the window says Audrey Jr., the name of the carnivorous plant. Every street and road in Silent Hill is named after a famous author, like Richard Bachman, pen name of Stephen King, who wrote The Running Man and Thinner, Carl Sagan, who wrote Cosmos and Contact, Robert Block, 
who wrote Psycho and American Gothic, Michael Crichton, who wrote Jurassic Park and The Andromeda Strain, Ira Levin, who wrote Rosemary's Baby and Sliver, Richard Matheson, who wrote I Am Legend and A Stir of Echoes, and Jack Finney, who wrote The Body Snatchers and House of Numbers. A theater called Metropole comes right out of Dario Argento's Demons. Mm -hmm. I'll hold your hand if it's scary. Around the building, you can spot posters depicting one of the film's disgusting monsters. Okay? Harry finds a store called Cutright Chainsaws, which is named after a similar store from the movie The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. A roadside bench has a poster with the words Gangusta Paradise. This could be a reference to the song Gangsta's Paradise from the movie Dangerous Minds. Julio in Silent Hill. Now that would be amazing. Newspapers across Silent Hill have the cryptic headline Bill Skins Fifth. This is a reference to the novel and movie The Silence of the Lambs where serial killer James Buffalo Bill Gunn murders five women, skins them, and wears their flesh as suits. A convenience store called 8 looks a lot like 7-Eleven. Too bad you can't buy a foggy Slurpee. A bench features an advertisement for a soft drink that strongly resembles Pepsi's logo and color theme. Speaking of carbonated drinks, a vending machine inside Alcamilla Hospital showcases a large red soda can closely resembling Coca-Cola's classic design. It seems the citizens of Silent Hill can't tell the difference between Coke and Pepsi either. Mega fast food chains McDonald's and Burger King have not opened any restaurants in Silent Hill yet, so locals were forced to build cheap knockoffs like McBurger and Queen Burger. Still hungry? How about chowing down some ribs at the Boston Market? I mean, Boston Market. My bad. If you're the adventurous type, visit the Konami Burger restaurant and enjoy a Castlevania wall turkey or a tasty Metal Gear snake soup. Bread rum. Looks like The Shining's Danny Torrance Bread has been playing around in Silent Hill. A garage door has the word red rum written in blood or lipstick, which is the word murder spelled backward. Bratty kid. Silent Hill's movie theater is currently showing two films you can't afford to miss. Shoot, starring Harrison Ford, and Crusher Dan, starring Bruce Willis. I've never heard of them, but their posters do seem slightly familiar. As the town shifts to the nightmare realm, signs on medical supply shelves at Al Camilla Hospital read, Hell is coming. A nice thought while you recover from surgery. The plates of Cat, Turtle, Hatter, and Queen that Harry finds in the Otherworld Al Camilla Hospital are a reference to the Cheshire Cat, Mock Turtle, Mad Hatter, and Queen of Hearts from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. The town's gas station seems to be called Shell, but the S is faded and reads like hell. Spooky. Boxes inside the store, the Indian Runner, have a Fatty X logo on them. Way more reliable than shipping via FedEx. A picture inside the Indian Runner shows the grand opening of Norman's Motel. A clear reference to the Bates Motel from the novel and film Psycho. Hey, this whiskey storefront actually says Jim Beam, so it's not a knockoff? Score! Stephen King's influence shows up once again in the form of Carrie and Pet Cemetery posters. Someone at the police station is a big fan of the 1889 World's Fair held in Paris, France. A bag of Jelly Belly jelly beans in a Silent Hill game? Almost. 
the character of Alessa Gillespie may have been based on Florence Tanner from the movie The Legend of Hell House, written by Richard Matheson. The resemblance is remarkable. Seeing posters advertising the British tabloid Daily Mirror is not odd since everything in Silent Hill belongs in a tabloid newspaper, but I did not expect to see the Beatles in this hellhole. People looking to do their holiday shopping at Virgin Megastore will have to settle for its less popular cousin, Vestal Gigastore. One of the buildings in Silent Hill has a sign with the letters FAA and a pig's head above a door. This is a reference to the film 12 Monkeys. The Freedom for Animals Association is the secret headquarters of the army of the 12 Monkeys. The name of Toluca Lake might have been inspired by the film Pulp Fiction. Listen to what Jules tells Vincent after Marvin gets shot in the face. What you doing? I'm calling my partner in Toluca Lake. Where's Toluca Lake? It's just over the hill here, over by Burbank Studio. A room where Alessa was apparently tortured has many scribbles on the walls. One of them reads, Help me. This could be a reference to The Exorcist film. The same phrase appears on Regan's abdomen during her exorcism. Let me know in the comments what details you have discovered that I missed. Please like the video if you found it interesting and subscribe to Nerdemia for more gaming and movie examinations.